There are almost 3,500 species of snakes out there in the world, in which there are around 600 venomous snakes that are most dangerous to humans. Welcome to Unimaginable. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon. Let's have a look at the most beautiful and the most dangerous snakes in the world. Number 20. Emerald Green Pit Viper Let us begin with a relatively new discovery, which is the Emerald Green Pit Viper. This snake was first found in 2002 in the eastern mountains of the Himalayas in the nation of Burma. This intensely green venomous snake has bright markings with males having red eyes with red and white stripes, while females have yellow eyes and stripes that are mostly white. They can grow to at least four and a half feet long. But as a fairly recent finding in the reptile kingdom, there may be much about this lovely creature that we are yet to learn, including their actual maximum size. Number 19. High Yellow Green Tree Python The high yellow tree python is a large snake that grows from 4 to 7 feet long. It is non-venomous and eats small mammals and sometimes reptiles. They hunt by hanging from branches and striking from a nest shape and then constricting the prey. It is an oviparous snake and one of the few snakes that stays with its eggs to incubate them. It is found mainly on the island of Kofiao in West Papua, Indonesia. Number 18. Coast Garter Snake The Coast Garter Snake can be found in the western coastal states of the United States from Oregon down through Southern California. The snake is considered harmless to humans but does produce a mild neurotoxin that it distributes by chewing its prey. A bite from one of these colubrid can produce swelling and irritation but has no lasting effect. Coast Garter Snakes have one of the most diverse diets of any reptiles and will consume practically anything it can overpower from slugs, earthworms, and leeches to birds, fish, and rodents. They grow approximately from 18 to 42 inches. Number 17. The Flying Snakes There are five species of flying snakes that may be found throughout western India to the Indonesian archipelago. Their behavior in the wild is little known, although they are believed to be largely arboreal and rarely coming down from the treetops. The smallest species measures around 2 feet in length, while the biggest can reach a height of 4 feet. The snake commonly inhabits the trees of South and Southeast Asia. They cruise along tree branches and, if required, leap into the air and glide down at an angle in order to get to the ground or another tree. Rats, lizards, frogs, birds, and bats are all known to be part of their diets. They are venomous snakes that have tiny fixed rear teeth, however, because of their small size and rigid posture, they are harmless to humans. The name flying snake is a misconception since, other than in exceptional circumstances, these animals cannot really rise. They are gliders that use the speed of free fall and bodily contortions to grab air and create lift. Number 16. Rainbow Snakes Rainbow snakes are among the most beautiful snakes in the United States. They have small dark eyes, smooth shiny scales, and a pointed tail tip. Adults have three red stripes running down a glossy black back. The belly is red or pink with two or three rows of black spots. Yellowish coloration is often present on the head and sides. Male rainbow snakes are smaller than females but have relatively longer and thicker tails. Rainbow snakes are highly aquatic and spend most of their lives hidden amongst aquatic vegetation and debris and flowing water habitats such as black water creeks, streams, and rivers. Number 15. Golden Lancet the Golden Lancehead is a South American pit viper that lives on a tiny island off the Brazilian coast in the Atlantic Ocean. This snake eats birds and is one of most poisonous snakes of Latin America. This snake gets its name from its yellowish-brown underside and characteristic head shape, which is somewhat elongated and tapers to a point at the nose. You shall be shocked to learn that a single gram of a lancehead venom may be worth more than one gram of gold and that their venom is three to five times more harmful than other lancehead kinds. Number 14. Red Spitting Cobra the red spitting cobra is a medium-sized species of spitting cobra native to Africa. This attractive snake is usually bright salmon red in color contrasted with a broad black throat band and subocular teardrop markings. However, the color of red spitting snakes usually varies depending on where in Africa they are found. Countries like southern Kenya and northern Tanzania have an orange-red color with a broad, dark blue or black throat band and from other areas they can be yellow, pinkish, pink gray, pale red, or steel gray. Red spitting cobras are mainly found in East Africa, including Somalia, southern Egypt,
Egypt, northern and eastern Ethiopia, northern Tanzania, and northern Sudan. They are also widespread in eastern and northern Kenya. These cobras prefer to live in dry savanna and semi-desert areas of East Africa and are usually found near water holes. Red-spitting cobras are terrestrial, fast, and alert snakes. During the day, adults like to hide in termite mounds, old logs, holes and brush piles, or any other ground cover. These snakes are not territorial, but they will defend the area they are in at the moment. When threatened, they rear up and display a typical cobra hood. They may also hiss loudly. If the intruder does not retreat, then the cobra may spray jets of venom on the face of the intruder. Venom in the eyes can cause burning pain and blindness. Even so, this snake seldom causes fatalities in humans. Number 13. Sahul Reef Snake Unfortunately, we must continue our examination of snakes that are perilously close to becoming extinct in our world, including the short-nosed sea snake. The short-nosed sea snake would not be seen at all previously. However, this has changed and their numbers are still severely reduced. The short-nosed sea snake is confined to the Ashmore Reef and Hibernia Reefs off the coast of northern Western Australia and occupies a combined area of around 10 square kilometers. Most of the time, this snake lives in water more than 10 meters deep, though it can also be found on coral reefs flats and around their margins. The snake will typically lie still at midday beneath coral overhangs or in waters with depths of 1 to 2 meters, because you cannot see the snake if you cannot find it. Counting its amount within the species is difficult because you cannot count it if you cannot see it. It is also why it was missing for so long, because while this snake can surface to obtain air, it has the ability to stay submerged for almost two hours. There is not just one thing that is endangering the short nose sea snake. There is a slew of issues, including hunting territory destruction, climate change, and more. If things do not improve, we may be unable to preserve this species. Number 12. Cyclades Blunt-Nosed Viper The Cichlid Blunt-Nosed Viper is a snake in the family of vipers that is classified as endangered by Iokin, but we shall talk about it more later. They are typically seen on Greek islands in the Cichlid Archipelago, which is shaped like an archipelago and straddles the Aegean Sea. The species is also known as Mountain Dolmen, and it is listed as threatened by the IUCN Red List of Endangered Species. This indicates that range of the species may be less than 5,000 km square, with a population dispersed across more than five locations. Furthermore, the number of mature individuals so listed is declining at an accelerating rate. In addition, there has been a steady deterioration in the area extent and quality of habitat, as well as the number of mature individuals reported owing to its geographical distribution being no more than 100 kilometers squared. It is found on only four tiny islands, and there has been a continual loss of habitat quality and quantity, as well as a decrease in mature individuals due to persecution and overcollecting all told. It is a very familiar familiar story when compared to what is happening to other snakes and animals out there that require certain habitats that are being taken away by man. Number 11. Horned Desert Viper The common name, Horned Desert Viper alone is enough to make one think of a devilish snake. It is already a viper, which is typically an aggressive snake that lives in the desert and breeds very strong and deadly snakes. Finally, it has horns, which adds up to a trifecta of evil all by itself. Scorpions, on the other hand, are effectively distinguished from vipers by their long tails. They are also one of the most common and readily identifiable poisonous snakes in North Africa and the Middle East. Scientifically known as Ceratus, this snake is widely dispersed throughout North Africa, that including southwestern Arabia and southwestern Israel, which is why you should be wary of these vipers. Depending on the gender, they can vary between 2 and 3 feet in length. Male desert boas reach a length of 7 to 10 feet and females are larger, although because they reside in the desert, they are also one of the snakes that do sidewind. This permits them to swiftly travel across the sand without burning their skin, as well as allows them to move effectively enough across the sand without worrying about stinging themselves. Oh, and yes, like many other desert snakes, male desert boas have snake-like skin. While the brown snake is not poisonous, it has a potent bite and can cause severe symptoms in humans if bitten, swelling, hemorrhages, necrosis, nausea, vomiting, and something else that I cannot pronounce are among them. They are really bad if you are in the desert, especially deep in the desert, because you may be too far away from assistance. Number 10. Santa Catalina Rattlesnake 
The Santa Catalina rattlesnake, a North American pit viper known as the Catalinensis species, is found only on Santa Catalina Island in the Gulf of California. The snake belongs to the Viperidae or pit viper family and is characterized by a pair of needle-sharp front fangs through which the creature injects a hematoxic venom into its prey. Adult length is 3 to 4 feet. The Santa Catalina rattlesnake is descended from the red diamond rattlesnake, Crodalus ruber, which migrated onto nearby islands as a result of the expansion of mainland Pacific coast. It has large white bordered diamond blotches along the back and a short, banded tail and is a grayish-brown snake with deep cavities between its eyes and nostrils that serve as heat-sensing organs capable of detecting any item whose temperature differs from that of the surrounding environment. These pit organs are an advantageous adaptation for hunting food. On its chaparral-covered island, where there is a dearth of ground animals, the Santa Catalina rattlesnake prowls in trees and shrubs at night for sleeping lizards and birds. The Santa Catalina rattlesnake's small and slender build allows it to maneuver easily among the vegetation. Instead of releasing and trailing its prey like other rattlesnakes, it holds it with its fangs until the poison takes effect. Number 9. Spiny Bush Viper Spiny bush vipers are a part of the Reptilia class and are native to Central Africa. The Greek words hairy and tailed came up with their scientific name. These spiky-scaled, venomous snakes have keeled scales on their bodies and get their name from the fact that they are semi-arboreal. These animals spend most of their day in trees, climbing almost everywhere except for when they bask on rocks or leaves. Their venom is neurotoxic, causing organ bleeding, although toxicity varies from person to person. Spiny bush vipers are venomous snakes found in tropical regions of Asia that are related to rattlesnakes and vipers. They are tiny reptiles growing up to 29 inches long for males and 23 inches long for females. The longer, slimmer bodies of males contrast with the thicker ones of females. Green or brownish keeled scales cover their bodies, giving them a bristly appearance that lends them their name, which is spiny bush viper. The scales on the head are the longest and gradually get smaller as they travel down the spine. Their heads are round and broad, with narrow necks, short snouts, and big eyes with vertically elliptical pupils. Their tails are prehensile, allowing them to grasp, climb, and hang upside down. Spiny bush vipers range across rainforests, woodlands, and swamps in their habitat. They may be found at elevations ranging from 2,900 to 7,800 feet, owing to their talent for climbing. They are native to Central Africa and are present in the Democratic Republic of Congo, Southwest Uganda, Tanzania, and Kenya. Number 8. Dragon Snake The dragon snake is a rare snake species that seldom appears in captivity. The creature has an odd appearance as well as strange habits. The dragon snake was discovered in science in 1836, yet we still know very little about it. The unusual skin of the dragon snake is derived from two Greek words that mean strange skin. This snake is a tiny snake that can reach up to two feet in length. They are usually gray with a white belly and have a long, thin body. With such a long tail, they have a slender physique. The eyes of these snakes are particularly large, and they have an unusual shape. The scales on the back of these snakes provide them their name, Dragon Snake. It is interesting to note that despite having three rows of enormous keeled scales down the length of its back, this species is not poisonous. The Chinese rock python, also known as the Dragon Snake, is native to Southeast Asia. Their range is thought to extend from southern Myanmar through the islands of Sumatra, Java, and Borneo. They may be found in countries such as Thailand, Malaysia, Brunei, and Indonesia. However, little is still unknown about their distribution. In fact, their presence in Burma and Thailand was established on a single specimen discovered in each country in the mid-20th century. 7. Blue Pit Viper's Snake The Blue Pit Viper is a rare variant of the White-Lipped Island Pit Viper. The species can be found in Indonesia and East Timor. Look, but do not handle. This snake is not someone you should get into a confrontation with. Blue pit vipers are extremely poisonous, regardless of how beautiful they appear to be. The island-dwelling snake is known to be a violent predator. They have an hemorrhagic venom that causes pain, edema, necrosis of tissue, and significant bleeding both internally and externally. After the poison has done its work, the snakes use their fangs to seize their food. Vipers are a large snake family that includes both venomous and non-venomous snakes. They can be found all throughout the world, with the exception of Antarctica, Australia, New Zealand, Madagascar, 
northern regions of the Arctic Circle and island clusters, such as Hawaii. Viper sizes vary greatly, but they are generally stocky and short-tailed. Mao Lan Pit is among the smallest vipers in the world which was found in China in 2011 and measures less than 2 feet long. Vipers have diverse habitats throughout their vast global range. They may be found in mountains, rainforests, farms, and deserts all over the world. Vipers are usually nocturnal in nature. They appear sluggish when compared to other snakes. This is because many vipers rely more on their camouflage than their speed when being hunted. When a predator approaches them, they are far more likely to blend in with the surrounding brush, rocks, or ground cover than to scoot away. Number 6. Reticulated Python The longest snakes on record are reticulated pythons, along with the green anaconda. These snakes grow longer than other pythons, with documented wild individuals in excess of 20 feet long. On the other hand, green anacondas are not as long but have a far greater girth and bulk. The largest recorded reticulated python in a zoo was 28.5 feet long and weighed about 320 pounds. While reticulated pythons are notorious for being aggressive, when handled frequently in zoological settings, they do not show aggression. Despite heavy hunting pressure for the commercial skin trade as well as opportunistic persecution by humans, this species maintains relatively large populations even in heavily populated areas. These snakes may live for more than 20 years. Maturity is reached within two to four years depending on size. When males reach a length of seven to nine feet, they begin breeding. Females begin reproducing when they grow to about 11 feet long. Reticulated pythons are viviparous, with females laying 25 to 80 eggs that they care for around 80 to 90 days. The mother goes through a fasting period while incubating the eggs during colder periods, producing muscular shivers to raise the temperature of the eggs. Number 5. The Line Blind Snake The Line Blind Snake is also known as the Striped Blind Snake, and it is extremely uncommon to see above ground in Singapore. Its body is notably thin and rounded in cross sections, while its head is distinct from the neck and has a blunt nose. This makes burrowing into the hard earth easier, as well as implying that yes, it truly is blind even to the extent that it is rarely seen on the surface of the planet because it prefers to live underground in its habitat. The species had been absent from the world for almost 170 years before being rediscovered in 2019 in Singapore, along with a wooded cycling route. After having not been seen for over 170 years, this is a long time to be away from the world, but it once again underscores a basic truth. If animals want to stay hidden from humans, there are various ways they can accomplish it. Another point that is crucial here is that while it may be big enough for its needs, it has several advantages. However, it is not the most threatening thing in its environment in terms of size, and many would agree that if it is on the surface for too long, other snakes will eat it. To add to this, it just eats a limited number of insects, making it less appealing than other snakes. Number 4. Snow White Serpents Although snow white serpents are similar in appearance to normal cobras, they are not the same since they have albinism. Snake skins contain melanin, which is a pigmented substance that gives them their color. It is the same chemical that causes your hair to be blonde or brown. On the other hand, Namibian cobras have white coats as a result of their albinism because they do not generate any melanin. They appear to be white. Although it appears to be fascinating for snakes, it is not so pleasurable without colors. Because albinos do not have any camouflage options, their pearly white skin exposes them to predators and makes hunting food harder. Because of this, some experts believe that albino cobras are among the 10 rarest albino animals in the world. Number 3. King Cobra The longest of all poisonous snakes is the king cobra. These snakes are in danger of extinction owing to a variety of human activities that pose threats to them. The king cobra is one of the most poisonous snakes of the world with the ability to literally stand up and look a grown person in the eye. They may lift about a third of their body off the ground while advancing to attack despite being threatened. Fortunately, king cobras are shy and avoid humans whenever feasible. It will also flare out its distinctive hood and emit a hiss that sounds almost like a growling dog. King cobras may reach 18 feet in length, which makes them the longest venomous snakes of the world. Their venom is not particularly potent but the quantity of neurotoxins they can deliver in a single bite is enough to kill 20 people or even an elephant. King cobra venom disrupts respiratory centers in the brain, causing respiratory arrest and cardiac failure. Number 2. Three-Eyed Snake In a little Australian town, scientists have found a three-eyed snake. Snakes may be found virtually everywhere in Australia, on the road, in your car. 
However, this three-eyed slither discovered in the Northern Territory is clearly unique. The non-venomous carpet python, which is native to Australia and Papua New Guinea, can reach a length of up to 9 feet, but this one was only about 16 inches long, implying that it was a juvenile. In May of 2019, an unusual three-eyed snake was discovered on an Australian highway and saved by the Northern Territory Parks and Wildlife Service. That is a real place, shout out to anyone watching from Humpty Doo. The baby carpet python tragically died soon after it was found. One of the rangers who discovered the snake called it strange. Number 1. Double Dave we have encountered some that should not be here, such as this guy. What a relief. It is not a hydra, but rather the outcome of an extremely uncommon condition, known as bicephaly, which means two heads. In reality, it is only one in every thousand wild birds, making two-headed snakes. Double Dave is a two-headed snake discovered in the forests of New Jersey that has earned the name of Double Dave. Snakes with two heads are somewhat more typical than those with a single head, and the head pairs have been known to battle over food not realizing that whatever they consume will end up in their same stomach. All creatures begin as tiny embryos before birth, and sometimes an embryo fractures into two identical twins. Twins happen when an embryo splits partially, however, the split only resulted in two embryos with the same genetic information. Unfortunately, having two heads is not really better than having one head. Two-headed snakes, on the other hand, have a limited lifespan and if one head detects food on the other, it may attempt to consume or attack it. If you think about having two heads for an extended period of time, two-headed animals have been regarded as a portent of calamity in many civilizations, and they have frequently appeared in mythology. Although they are unusual, two-headed snakes do occur quite often, occurring about once every 100,000 live births in the wild. Another two-headed snake made headlines recently after being photographed on beaches of Tabanan.